The Chinese men's national football team has qualified for the FIFA World Cup only once in 2002, where they lost all three group stage matches without even scoring a goal. So what should be done about this? Replace them. Human football players may be crowded out with the introduction of Beijing Boosters Robotics. That's because Booster Robotics recently demonstrated their footballing child-sized robots where four teams competed in three-on-three -three football matches. With advanced visual sensors, the robots could track the ball and move around the field with some shaky agility. They could also get back up after falling, though a few required help from robot responders. It all added to the authenticity of a real football match. Passing, standing, low scores, collisions, and of course, the occasional injury. Faker. Beyond the entertainment, the technical achievement of the match was exceptional. So how did it turn out? In the championship match, Tsinghua University's THU Robotics claimed the victory over China Agricultural University's Mountain Sea Team with a 5-3 win. And if you want to score with your design, you need authentic parts. So let's check one out in our premier product highlight, sponsored by Mauser Electronics. Delta Electronics DMVC Gig E industrial cameras offer high performance imaging in both color and monochrome options. With resolutions from 0.4 megapixels to 20 megapixels, they come available with rolling or global shutters. These cameras support high speed image capture and feature a Gig E vision interface for 1 gigabit per second Ethernet data transfer. Fully compliant with Gen I Cam standards, they allow control of settings like frame rate, gain, and exposure via XML. Each model includes a 6-pin I.O. port for flexible signal handling and operates from 0 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. The Delta Electronics industrial cameras are ideal for machine vision tasks such as inspection, counting, and label verification. Check them out today by visiting mauser.com or by clicking the link below. How do you solve a problem like protocol conversion? To explain, we present David's Corner. Thanks, Andy. When we're dealing with industrial networks, we have to deal with lots of legacy devices, which means there's going to be lots of different network protocols that are transferring data all over the network facility at the same time. But we all, at some point, we need to get those up into a network that our main controller or even the cloud can be able to see. So for those jobs, we turn to these things called gateways, or more appropriately at this level, protocol converters, because a gateway can have a couple of meanings in networking. What these protocol converters can do is to be able to take in networks of one type, for example, RS-485, RS-232, Modbus, and they can convert it into an equivalent protocol that's still carrying the right data, but might be more along the lines of Ethernet or even MQTT. And they can serve specific purposes, like converting protocols for a network drive or just generic data coming from sensors and actuators around the facility to make sure that we can always collect the data appropriately, that we can process the data on the right level of the network, and that we can make sure that all the logic decisions are made and distributed down to the right field devices, and we can do it no matter what generation or legacy devices that we have in our facility. Andy, back to you. Thank you, David. Are you a smart bite or smart bit? Let's find out in our control automation quiz, Smart Bit. Okay, in our Smart Bit quiz, you must match the right answer to its question in less than three seconds. The questions are scored using actuator output percentage, and today we'll be testing your knowledge on football playing robots. At the end, you'll see if you're a smart bite or smart bit. Let's begin with our first question for 25%. In the early minutes, Robo Striker's goalie blocks several shots with lightning fast reactions. Which sensor fusion likely gave them this edge? Is it A, combining LiDAR with ultrasonic sensors for spatial awareness, or B, integrating high frame rate cameras with inertial measurement units, IMUs? And the answer is B, integrating high frame rate cameras with inertial measurement units. High frame rate cameras plus IMUs enable faster predictive reactions. 
Okay, on to our next question worth 25%. When two autonomous robot players collide during a high-speed play, which protocol best balances safety with maintaining match flow? Is it A, both robots execute an immediate halt and diagnostic self-check before resuming, introducing a controlled delay, or B, robots continue to play instantly unless sensors detect critical system faults requiring a manual reset? The answer is A. Both robots execute an immediate halt and diagnostic self-check before resuming, introducing a controlled delay. An immediate halt with a brief diagnostic ensures safety and prevents cascading failures, while a controlled delay minimally impacts game flow compared to risking further damage. Okay, on to our next question worth 25%. Upon falling, a robot player attempts to stand up independently using onboard systems. Which factor is most critical to optimize this recovery? Is it A, prioritizing speed to minimize time off field even if it risks imbalance or repeated falls? Or B, prioritizing stability and controlled motion over speed to ensure a successful and safe stand up? And the answer is B, prioritizing stability and controlled motion over speed to ensure a successful and safe standup. Stability reduces the chance of repeated falls or mechanical damage, ensuring reliable autonomous recovery even if it takes slightly longer. Okay, let's move on to our next question worth 25%. In robotic penalty kicks, which approach best balances energy use and scoring accuracy? Is it A, maximum power kicks for fast shots but high energy consumption? Or B, adaptive force and real-time trajectory control for precise, efficient shots? And the answer is B, adaptive force and real-time trajectory control for precise, efficient shots. Adaptive control conserves energy while ensuring accurate, reliable shots. Well, how did you do? Are you a smart bite or bit? You can have another try at it right now by clicking the link on your screen. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.